We come to choir to have an individual experience collectively. With the coronavirus pandemic still raging in the United States, it isn't safe for us to come together to sing right now, but what we can do is to raise our individual voices in powerful ways. On May 4th, 2019, the Schwab Singers of Columbus State University in Georgia traveled to Selma and Montgomery, Alabama. We walked over the Edmund Pettus Bridge together and we felt the presence and the spirit of John Lewis, Martin Luther King Jr., and the many other brave men and women who shed their blood for the Black American right to vote. We went to the Civil Rights Museum and to the Memorial for Peace and Justice, which honors the lives of thousands of Black Americans killed by lynching, as well as the thousands more whose names we don't even know yet. We ended the day singing from the pulpit from which Martin Luther King Jr. preached at Dexter Avenue King Memorial Baptist Church. The students sang from their guts. They sang for their lives and for their ancestors. They sang for their past and their present and their future. They sang for the truth. They sang through their tears and they sang through their pain and their anger. They sang through their hopes. Most beautifully, they sang through their unequivocal joy and through their unwavering optimism that this country can do better. John Lewis taught us that optimism and hope are not only the powerful choice to make, but also our social and moral obligation. He taught us to use our voices and not to be silent in the face of injustice. Since that day, the students have been raising their voices through registering to vote and helping their friends to do so as well. They have voted in state and local elections and they have taken care to not waste that right for which John Lewis fought so hard. They've had difficult conversations and admitted that they didn't know. They have spoken up for themselves and for their classmates. They have formed organizations that fight the systemic racism that exists in classical music and in other art forms. They have sought answers and asked questions. They have listened not to respond, but to understand. They have put on their masks and taken to the streets to fight for the worthiness and the beauty of Black lives. John Lewis taught us that courage is a reflection of the heart and that courage comes from the divine purpose to do what is right. And he taught us that through that courage, we must get in the way, make good trouble, fight for what is right through peace and love in our hearts. He taught us to speak up and to stand up.
salvation. And I'll fight with the strength that I got until I die. So I'm gonna stand up, take my people with me. Together we are going to a brand new home. Far across the river, can you hear freedom calling? Calling me to answer, gonna keep on keeping on. And I know what's around the land might be hard to face cause I'm alone. And I just might fail, but Lord knows I try. George Floyd, 46. Elijah McLean, 23. Maya Hall, 27. India Kager, 27. Atatiana Jefferson, 28. Ayana Stanley Jones, 7. Katherine Johnston, 92. Stefan Clark, 22. Kayla Moore, 41. Botham Jean, age 26. All Tom Sterling, 37. Philando Castile, 32. Kayam Livingston, 37. Michelle Cuso, 50. Freddie Gray, 25. Corinne Gaines, 23. Janisha Fonville, 20. Eric Garner, 43. Akai Gurley, 28. Gabriela Navarez, 22. Charlena Lyles, 33. Michael Brown, 18. Nisha Anderson, 37. Trayvon Martin, 17. Tamir Rice, 12. There's a great camp meeting, there's a great camp meeting, Ooh. Children, don't 
you get weary. Oh God, my children, don't you get a weary? Just so walk together, children, don't you get weary? There's a great camp meeting in the promised land. Gonna see, gonna see, gonna see, and never tire. Sing 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 and never tire. There's a great camp meeting in the promised land. Oh, walk together, children, don't you get weary. Walk all my children, don't you get weary. Just so walk together, children, don't you get weary. There's a great camp.